Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Perfect Blaze Roblox, and today I'm gonna show you how to triumph without using the almost. Well, I can't call it triumph in my opinion because it's almost triumph, but just the last wave is my end and mark. I will show you how to triumph without Zed or Golden Commando. So. What we're gonna do is go to solo, obviously. This may take a while since I'm, this thing really hates me. Now, I might get the, not, I might not get teleported, but that is fine. That is completely fine. Now, I mean, the, I mean, sure, the best map for triumphing is boardroom. If someone actually triumphs um, Dead End Valley, or like that, that Dead End thing, I should have done Well, restart! Because start now actually just sends you to a random map, because the game is like, you never. It's just fine. Unless we get bored, it pretty easy. Now, if you want to have an infinite scroll of map, I wish you you can choose any map. Like you can pick any map. One. Okay, so go here. Go back to solo. This will take over. This will be forty to fifty minutes long, since this is a very long setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. We don't need your golden commandos and zeds. We can. I can almost try and find myself. So you're just saying that just to help me. But no, I do not need help at all. Now, if we get borderline, yep, there you go. Start now. Okay. So you think? Oh, you should place your patrol. Don't. Don't do that. If you have a, if you have an aviator, just wait a few seconds after wave one finishes and place it right here, where I'm, where I'm locating. Because by the time the zombies get over here, you'd probably have $863. But if you're AFK, you might lose some help. See, as they enter through the arch, we be able to place our first aviator that fast. And it shreds them, so, it, so it's not really a problem. When these zombies come, the aviator can have raced forward and shred them. Or not. We shred a few of them. Now, what you're gonna do? Uh, don't break this thing. It's fine. Save up for commando if you have one. Though. Otherwise, this is an impossible run. I have railgun just for extra damage later on. In waves 31 to 39, 40 we don't need them because we have commando. Well, 40 we might need them for the void. But this just guarantees you a wave 39, so that guarantees you a hundred coins every day, every time, unless your defenses are slow or your game is lagging. But still, you just sit here, wait for commando, because that's what we are obviously targeting for. So, okay, so. Here's my plan with the slows. They may be slow, but when the time is two waves later, we'll probably have a commando. Cause solo mode is godly. In my opinion, solo is the easiest one to, to finish, like to get the most defenses put up really quickly. And then quad op is the hardest one because you get so little money so early on. You only get like a hundred on the wave, like you only get a thousand hit here you get a thousand at wave 20 or something. Now wait for a golden commando. I mean, commando. This may take a while, but we could take care of these normal normies. Normies on there. Okay, this may not look good, but it's fine. Clearly fine. Okay, we can place your commando. Best spot right here. So you place them there. 
So it has gear, yes, shoot through walls like a freaking hacker. Why not? Now, what's funny is, um, Commando. It's just really OP if you get them at for the first time. When you have them, you'll probably gain money fast when you get dual. So I'll upgrade this to handling. Upgrade now. What's the best thing to do? Do not buy another commando until until you have a max commando. When you have a max commando, you can defend yourself from hidden zombies. But if you don't have a max commando, you are screwed by wave twenty two. Because if you don't have a ma if you have like four level four commandos, that's not enough. That's not enough to defend. Like you need a laser commando because you need laser wield commando because it won't do enough the necessary damage to kill a hidden boss so quickly. Now next wave I'd be able to buy goggles, which is pretty nice because after this wave hidden's come in. So it will make this wave a pretty easy one. Now, or if you if you don't have any of these towers but have better ones, RNG, that's it. Use RNG, that's better. That's probably the best option if you have no luck with anything. Meanwhile, Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Upgrade the goggles. This also greatly increases its range, which is pretty nice. Now, in my opinion, the range upgrades on commandos and golden commandos are pretty nice. Like, bro, they can almost reach here. Even though they can only reach up to here. Now, what you're gonna do, don't upgrade, still don't upgrade this. Only upgrade this race like if you need more defense. But I leave this unupgraded until you have two of these laser commandos up. Now let these zombies pass by. You can just let, let your commander shred them. Meanwhile, you save up for dual wheel, because dual wheel will help a lot in wrecking waves 12 to 4 to 15 to 16. 12 to 16. We're almost there, so we'll Now, the reason I didn't say 17, because there's the big boss, the one that has a 600 health, which is pretty tanky, which is basically two hidden bosses combined. Now, we're almost there. If this commando can actually kill it faster, come on. Okay, there. Now, now I can shred those hidden. Up oh, and we'll wield. Now, we're going to sit here until wave 21. That's the time you will have 9,000. Because from what I experienced, well, it depends on what you get here on these mystery guys. Because if you don't get, like, at least a boss one, you won't have enough money. Meanwhile, this dude's, like, sitting here doing only 467 damage dealt. But this thing helps. A lot oh necromancers now the thing is broken not like so overpowered it's, it's quite broken i don't know why planet earth won't fix it but the necromancer boss might summon zombies okay let me just like never like example i'm a normal zombie i go like this this and then one time i saw my zombie go like this and then go like this and then went like this but then instead of going inside the door they just went here went outside the map and did damage. I don't know what is wrong, but it just happens. It's, it's just because necromancers are broken. Unless... Well, necromancer ain't that broken. It's not like... It's pretty hard boss if you don't have anything that can actually rapid fire other than me. So you have to save up for at least aviator or commando. Or if you can actually get it, Golden Commando. Well, probably most people have it right now. 
Golden Scout is pretty OP for being underrated. I know why. I don't see too many people using Golden Scouts. I only see them like rarely when I go into bodies or tries. I ops. Now let me just. Also, they don't allow emotes. I mean, like, like cha cha or hype or that stuff. But they allow these, which is kind of, but it's fine. It still does it. Next wave is the big boss, which pisses everyone off because they can't kill it in time with their newbie defensive. Not offensive. It's just what I'm saying. The towers. There is only one tower that I can consider good. It's the fragger or the shotgun. Well, that's two, I guess. But those are the only two towers that I consider that's pretty good for e early, early game of tower defense, of tower battles. Now, I was gonna make a tower defense video, except the teleporting system's broken right now. I don't really know. Like, I sit inside tower defense. I'm like, oh, let's go in here. Psych, it takes five years to load. Because I don't know why. Planet Earth rarely uses do does any updates. It's um hold on, let me go full screen. It's easier. Oops. My screen hates me. No. So we're almost there. However, this is what gives us a lot of money. Not gonna lie. Sell all of these, you're good. You won't get as much money. But this gives you like a thousand at least. A thousand five hundred. A thousand four hundred. But actually it's a thousand six hundred actually. Sometimes the game glitches and you we only get half, so then. now it's time to kill it. We're gonna get hundreds really fast. It's just that my money hates me and it's lagging. Actually, we might be able to get it earlier. Yeah, we might be able to get it early, but I don't know. Maybe RNG doesn't like me then if, it, if we don't get it early. One time I went in Western, I didn't get lucky, and that was like my previous Tower to Battles video. So, yeah, that means RNG sucks in that map. So, my best bet, oh no, there's spamming. Anyway, kill this, you'll get a lot of money. Aviator helps killing it too, but still. I need to get Commander immediately. Because Commander is quite OP. I might use it most of the The only thing I do not use in my entire set is this patrol. I need to use, I need to remove it and replace it for um, something good. Like, oh, we can buy it. Nice. Okay. Now that you bought it, now that you've bought the commando max level. It's easy to shred these zombies, so don't mind them. They're just there. Now you you can now be able to buy another commando because this is the best bet. Now do not if you don't have enough money like I do, like you can't afford the first upgrade. Um, then don't then save up and then now if you can then do that. Now I didn't notice this before, but if you Upgrade, go here. It says this, and I never noticed that. And I was like, huh, what? I wonder what that means. Like, does it mean like other aviators or other towers? I don't know. And then soon I found out it actually gives it to other towers. So I can have a hidden detection. Well, it'd be useless with towers that already have hidden detection already automatically. I don't have some rare towers yet. Might get one soon, probably like a golden scout. If I just grind with all this, because this game has no rules. All, the only one rule is do not exploit the money. So, 
it's the new boss, right? We're so screwed. We don't have enough. Well, actually, we're fine. We'll be able to afford them. If this boss can die, we'll, we'll live. Now, this is what I like about the, the strategy. This laser commando, if we had only two of these guys of level fours, we wouldn't be able to kill it as fast as we did right now. If you didn't have two commandos, you are screwed and you will die so fast because it's so... That's the thing that ended my match like when I was... When I had not made a strategy yet. So that's the thing that ends the match so quick. This strategy guarantees you a wave 39 or a wave 40 if you just get really dumb. If RNG says yes, you will, you, you can pass. And good, you got wave 40. But that won't help because you, if you have a Z with you in your party in your towers, use it, use it, definitely use it. You should save up for a max commando. And then you'd be able to buy a Z without farming. In solo. So all you need is a golden commando or a commando. Well, golden is harder, but commando is pretty good. So if you have a commando and a Z, use the commando first. Use it to upgrade it to max. And then you can get a Z pretty fast. Because it's so cheap by the time you already have. You're at wave 24. It's pretty cheap. Now, you might be saying, dude, save up for Zed. Look at your credits. Save up for Zed. I'm saving up for Commander because that 20% fire rate might help with killing the boss, which might help me be able to triumph solo, which I've never done yet. And if I actually did it without Zeds, I'd be called the, the triumpher. That didn't do it with a Z. Because normally from what my, my friends call this game, where you need a Z at least to win. Well, I said, how about this? Go to solo, spam a one aviator, and spam max commandos. Will that work? Wave 40. I don't know how I made it there. I just got it by accident. I was like, I need to grind for real gunner. And then I just accidentally got to wave 40. By, okay, here, here is where my friends mess up. This one zombie that you can kill so fast if you have three of these guys. I do have three of them, so I can easily shred them. Now, Wave 26, interestingly enough, has no hidden bosses, which is pretty nice. Which is a pretty nice break if you don't have too many. It's a pretty nice break to set up your towers, just in case if you don't have one of them that has no hidden protection. This strategy only works on solo because you only get the same amount of money every time. So you, so this won't work on duos, trios, and quad op pods. So this won't work. However, if you are on solo and you're bored and you just want to do something new, do this one. This one's good. So this is a guarantee wave forty. Without using Zeds, which is not normal, according to some people. I mean, sure, there is some day, there are some instances where people actually completed the game without the Zed. Like you, at least, like you can have like phasers, rail gunners. Rail gunners is a pretty good unit. And if you chart, if all the zombies died except the void, that be those be good. Those be. Now, I'm saving up. This might be a regret, but you can choose your path. You can buy another commando, or you can buy your first railgunner at max. So, but I'd rather have another commando since there's new zombies and so many bosses. Four is not gonna charge. It's not gonna do anything. That's not gonna even make a dent on them. So, I'd recommend five to ten commandos. So I have five. However, if you want to make it to wave 40, now we're on wave 30. That's our first benchmark until the end. We are 10 waves away from the end. Now, this is why this plan is so foolproof. I don't know how I discovered it. I just made it up myself. Like, oh, how about I do this and then this and then this? I used to use the patrol for an early defense, but I just realized I if I get if I have 650 
and the first reward gives you like a 200, I'd be able to buy aviator first. So I just edited that, removed the, the patrol strategy, because that patrol is useless at this point if you have that. It just makes, makes your plan weaker. So let's place another commando. I'll edit the strategy. I'll make a new video with commander this time. I'll do it. Maybe. No, I don't know. Whatever. Now, this seems nice. Cause, oh, well, that doesn't look nice, but it's fine. Boss 3 isn't such a bother unless they're spammed, like five of them. That becomes a problem at wave 39 to 40 because they spam boss 3. Like, it's weak. They think it's weak. No, it's not weak. Now, I, I'd say you could buy a railgunner right now, but my mind says you no. Don't buy another one. I'd save up 30k, 30,400, so we can get another two. We can get two max commandos in one, because according to my calculation, calculator i combined all the upgrades plus the cost and it tallied up to a 15,200 which is quite expensive but not as expensive as golden command and okay place that place that it's better to do it like that so you can have a dual take over you can take over both sides now that it's max go over the other one max it Obviously, so the boss. To, oh God, I'm already lagging. This sucks. Also, the video quality might suck sometimes because it's so laggy. So, eh, it's fine if it's laggy as long as we get. As long as we kill. Oh no, you're kind of going in too far. But hidden bosses won't survive. So will I swear to God, if they actually spawn so many hidden bosses. Oh wow, look, we can all already afford. Okay, how many do we have? Seven? Okay. Oh, there's the first spam that I do not like. That's the normal thing that would kill you at this point. That's normal. So I'm gonna place a bunch of these guys. Mandos. Oh, I can afford them. Maybe three. Oh, shoot. Direct. Kill them faster! Kill them faster, commandos! Kill them faster! Now! Oh god. There's, that's a lot of hidden bosses, not gonna lie. Now this, you might be thinking, bro, this plan is so good. Sometimes the game lags. Oh, here's our first boss four. That really pisses me off every time. Because that's the only thing that actually kills you. Now! What would you do with the rest of your tower that you can use, like four or five, because of this aviator? I'm probably gonna get rid of it later. I did not mean to rhyme, but okay. Place your railgun. Place one, just one. Don't buy any more, because if you buy more, you would be bankrupt and you would lose money. Now, when you have your first railgun, it should be pretty easy to kill these bosses now. So this thing does 500 damage. Just I thought it was like, oh, it does like a thousand or something. No, it does 500. I thought it was a thousand, which would make this tower so broken, but eh, it's fine. At least it's not as broken as golden. Well, makes sense it's that much. Now, if you have the money to buy another railgun, do it. Because at this point, you really need railguns. Because commandos will not help you at this point. As they do, I mean, sure, they do a lot of damage, but the railguns also do a lot of damage. They dish out, like, what, 400 to 500 damage. This this dude wound walking, literally. Boss 4 is trying to taunt me. There goes the boss 1 spam that is pretty easy to kill. These commandos just shred the boss 1 spam. So does they do the, with the boss 2, with the boss 2 spam. Boss 3 spam, kinda hard, but I can still consider it easy. Next, put your next railgunner. And put another one if you can afford one. 
Oh, well. Wait, what? Do I have 11 commandos? Oh, break there. Here they come. Okay, there we go. Now, the only thing that I struggle with is by the time they get here, some of my minigunners won't reach, like, right here to over here. They won't reach. So, I'm going to sell this aviator since it's doing absolutely nothing and replace it with a railgun. Because railguns are needed. I mean, sure, people call it railgunner, but I call it railgun because by the time... It's literally so good. If you have a lot of them, it'd be easy. Also, I have no audio on. Yeah, it's really loud. So I wouldn't recommend playing the playing this strategy on max audio, or else your ears would be broken by now, probably. See, look, they insta killed a literal. Oh my gosh! Now it's not a problem. Boss four, two threes are not a problem. Boss fours are kind of a problem. Because rail gunners can one shot them, plus the damage of the commandos do more. So this I edited my strategy mid showing you the strategy that I thought it was good. Now I think we'd be able to, to triumph. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe. I have a hundred cases. I mean, sure, replace everything with rail guns, but that's kind of bad because the the reload sucks, which makes which makes the tower balanced at least. If it, if the reload was like a commando, Jesus Christ, this game would be so much easier than tower defense. The reason they stopped playing tower defense, I mean, sure, I'm really good at it, and I have a limited tower. Just that the teleporting system's broken. Like, I sit there, go inside a lobby, like, go inside a match, and it says, waiting, I'm waiting for teleport, but my cursor doesn't freeze, because normally when my cursor freezes, at least I teleported. Oh, okay. Well, we're almost there, and I swear to God, if we actually triumph this by accident, by freaking accident, I am gonna, um, go mad. I mean, sure, it should give like 500 coins at least for solo, because quad is pretty quick, quite easy. So, the easiest one to solo? Borderlands. Easy one to duo? Borderlands. Like, Borderlands is the new, is the new railgun. Like, if Borderlands is available to you, do it. It's good. I mean, sure, without the help of the mini gunners, they won't be able to one shot these boss threes, but. God, that boss three spam. Is that seven? No, it's six. Okay, we got two boss fours coming up. That's pretty nice. I like they designed a boss four. It's kind of interesting that they use the old hat and the sword in the head. Alright, I think this has to end here. It's been fun. But it's getting old. Shut up. This is game is not old, and everyone's like, yo, dude, this, thing, this game sucks and it's old. I still think this should, this is, this feels new. I mean, sure, lag, problems of zombies going through whatever. But I still don't think it's that old. We're on, so this is a guaranteed wave 39 to wave 40 every time you play tower battles. Unless your, cra unless your computer crashed midway into the battle, into the fight. Now that I edited the strategy, you, you may now... Be able to triumph, well, almost triumph if you have the Z. I'd recommend placing my Zs right here because there's so much space. Now, this is the part where I died. Because of these guys, they summon so much trash. Also, these guys are also my brain. But real guns help it easier, make it easier. So, yeah. Also, I never knew... The railgun's rage is literally almost the entire map. So it's like a zombie is up. Oh, there is the final wave. Here we go. This is a guaranteed final wave or wave 39 if your defenses are too weak or you didn't upgrade all of your stuff. Now, my best strategy, if you have if you have so much money, like mine, my money, I have 300k. I'd probably just sell all your commandos and just replace them with railguns. Because they do so much damage. 
but they reload so slow. So this is the end of my battle. GG, because oh, there comes the guardians, but it would be too late for the void to even come out. Oh my gosh, look how many it's like a parking lot. It's like people rushing to the parking lot. Who can get the parking spot first? Probably not nobody, because oh there he is. There's the there's our last look at the void before these hidden bosses kill me. There's the void. Quite tall actually. So that's my tutorial on how to actually beat the game. Well, if you have enough towers, obviously, if, they, if Planet Earth will increase it to like 25, I'd add more railguns or more commandos to do, dish out more damage. But the 39 to 40 part is the overwhelming one. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial because that, that took some time to record everything because this video is probably one of my longer ones than my normal one. I mean, at least I get to show you how how weird and how dumb this game really is. Like, sure, you should have really, dude. By the flamethrower, good. Shut up. I don't do that. I'm saving up for this good stuff. This hot good stuff. I'd probably put that when I begin for my because I have 650 and start with 600. However, however, yeah, this guy. So that's my strategy because normally I'd just be using only three commands like three rail guns or two of the three rail guns of a hundred commandos. Like, why? <laughs> Oh, well, as he said, why, I issued it or whatever. And patrols are freaking useless. The end. See ya. See you in the next video. On what I actually... I might make a new strategy. How to lose in Tower Battles. Part 1. Now, I'm gonna... And I'm also gonna do a Noob to Pro series. Yes, that's right. Noob to Pro. On my... On an alt. Yes. I'm gonna start from the beginning with this trash and these good stuff. This is good. This is good for beginners. This is a, a, a heaven. So I'm gonna start from the beginning and see if I can actually get this. Now, the, I mean, makes sense that the Z is so expensive. Like, it just seems relative to, the starting cost is relative to its price. Now, I hope you have a good day to today in this horrible world where everyone is almost dead. Probably. I don't know. None of those are good. This one's useless. This one's maybe good. This one's good. Because there's a glitch with it. I mean... I hope all of you guys have a good day in this horrible world that we're living in. Well, it's gonna go away at least. That's pretty nice. I also have some notes about this time. About about this. <laughs> I actually made someone buy a mortar nice. Okay. Now Everyone's hating on Twitter. It's a pretty good tower if you're such a noob. It's so good because you basically have a mini farm. It's many, I said many, I said many farm. Meanwhile, you do damage, which is pretty nice. 
Also, the max upgrade is basically something I remember. I don't know which one it is. I might buy this one time. What does anyone act? Um. Wait, what's the stack of commando? Oh, okay. So, I might buy mercenary for a mini mini gun that is on on land. Um, medium. Oh, command that's pretty far. Oh, okay. Now, you know what you're saying? Dude, save up for this thing. My friend said it was a scam. Because you need 2,000 credits. And I'm gonna grind. Basically, for another railgunner. And then after that, I might buy phaser. Because that could actually help in my strategy. Probably you're moving the... Oh, no. I just... Yeah. Maybe I might put the phaser on here. So I can still have... And then I'll replace the commander for um, that. Anyways, I hope you have a good day. And bye.